Alright, what's going on guys? It's Debbie Time, or Devin. You can call me whatever you want. I don't really care. And today I'm coming at you guys with a Photoshop, top, Photoshop tutorial of how to do a Renegan Sharingan. If, uh, it's from an anime series called Naruto, if you guys are interested. Uh, if you guys aren't really interested in anime or don't really care, you can click off. But if you want to see this tutorial, you can stay. Alright, so what you want to start off is with selecting one eye. This, this eye is going to be the Sharingan eye, so all you need is the quick selection tool. Uh, fit the size to fit just around your eye uh, so that that selection came out perfect. What you're going to go to is image adjustments and then go to desaturate and then you're going to image again adjustments again and then you're going to go to color lookup and you're going to choose uh, what is it called bleach bypass and click OK. So once you have that done all you need to do is pull up a picture of a, okay this is the ring again uh, pull up the picture of a Sharingan and so right here, I'm going to use Kakashi's uh, Sharingan. So same thing again, you're just going to use a selection tool and find the right size. Oh, God. So once you get the right size, just select it. That selection is all right. Uh, tighten it up a little bit. Doesn't matter if you go into it. And then you're going to click Refine Edge. And just fix those edges up. You don't need to be too neat because the top and bottom parts are most likely going to be erased. And then once you're happy with that, you can click OK. And then you're going to Control C to copy that. Go back over to your photo and Control V. And then what you're going to do, so there's a little bit of white there. Uh, so you're on the layer, you can just go over to the eraser tool and just erase that away. Alright, so what you're going to do now is control T on that to adjust the crop. Crop it down to just the right size. You could even go a little bit bigger if you wanted. So once you're happy with that, press enter or select the check mark to be okay with it. You're going to change this uh, layer to an overlay so it morphs into the other eye a little bit and then go back to your eraser and where's this eraser God. And just fix up the edges a little bit so once you're happy with the edges I feel like the shrine is a little bit too strong so I like to turn down the opacity a little bit because uh, I'd like to make this drawing down look uh, at least a little bit realistic, if you know what I'm saying. So what you're going to do is zoom in to the middle of the eye, grab the selection tool again, pick the right size. This is usually about a 9 or something. Oh, too small. Yeah, it might be 11. Yeah. Let's go to 12. 12 is perfect. Refine. Pick that. Refine edge. Oh, shit. And then fix the sizes of it a little bit. Once you're okay with that, press OK. So you got that selection. You press Control C and then Control J. And that's just going to make the middle of the eye pop out a little bit more. I hit the cord for my microphone there. My bad. And then you're going to zoom back out, fit to screen. So that looks alright. And then, so you're going to go to the other eye and do the Rinnegan, and then this one usually doesn't work, so I usually select the pen tool, and you just go around the eye. You don't have to be too careful with this, but make sure you stay within the eye, and don't go too far within dots, because it's straight lines in between them. them right click and select make selection and feather radius you want to do about one one's a good safe area to that selection what you're going to do is image adjustments and desaturate again Gosh, it. I just selected. oh yeah Fuck. okay you have to click on background and then adjustments and then desaturate so once you desaturate it uh, 
sometimes you can do it like the first picture first one I said uh, where you do the color lookup and then do the bleach bypass but it makes the eye like blow out and it makes your run again look a little bit messed up so just control Z to get rid of that and then you're gonna go over to the run again and you're gonna make a selection again pick the right size just too small, a bit too big. That's about right. Oh shit! Let's just go a little bit smaller. I made a pretty nice selection. So once you have that, Control C to copy that back over this image and control V to paste that. Uh, then you're going to control T, move it, move it. I like to keep it a little bit bigger just to, because you don't want all the lines of the running out in there because it, it makes your thing look a little bit dumb. Football a little bit and then you want to turn it a little bit to fit your eye. Uh, turning on the opacity a little bit helps me center it to the right spot that I want. Once you have that there, turn that layer back into an overlay. Then you can turn the opacity back up. And then once you're set with that, press the check button or enter. And just grab your eraser and just go around and erase whatever is not in your eye. kind of neat and I sort it usually these pink spots that are on there are spots that are on your skin and not in your eye so you can get rid of those usually like the pink is just the parts that weren't desaturated oh shit control Z mess that up a little bit there Test that edge. Let's see, let's zoom out a little bit. That looks nice. I actually like it. Uh, so usually you can select back on background and do image adjustment and then color lookup, and you can change it to whatever filter you want. It. You know, you can go lighter, warmer you know, whatever you want. You know, I usually just keep it on low three, oh shit, not that one, my bad. Uh, or just cancel it and just leave it how it was. And then you can just export that, and send it wherever you want. So that was pretty much my tutorial on how to do a Rinnegan Shurigan in Photoshop. I just need something to upload, but I'll see you guys in the next video.